welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be going over how you can create a trading plan that you can actually follow now i know that there's obviously a lot of uh videos on creating trading plans but i feel like um there's a lot of people that still struggle to actually follow it. and i hope at the end of this video you'll be able to actually follow your own trading plan um every single day and find consistency in your trading um so before we get into it if you're new here um maybe it's your first time here hit the subscribe button um basically this channel is for anyone who has experienced kind of stress trading maybe they're anxious about um the future about their trading um you know they're, they're just not getting where they want to get um and it's stressful anxious uh, they're not sure if they're going to make it that's what this channel is for maybe you're fed up with people trying to sell you courses or mentoring um and yeah you might as well just come into one of our live streams because uh we're pretty much just doing group mentoring in the live streams every single day um for hours so yeah if you want to get some group mentoring come into the live streams ask any questions you want i'll try and answer them as best as i can um but yeah let's get into the video so throughout this video i'm basically going to be showing you how I managed to trade a hundred trades in my back testing and then just turn that into a thousand trades. Um, how I can project equity curves and also how you guys can create a flow diagram so that you don't even miss any steps in your trading plan. So before we get into everything, um, it's really, really important to have a goal, right? Or goals. So I kind of have two uh, types of goals that I look for. Um, one of them is trading goals and one of them is lifestyle goals. So have your trading goals, have your lifestyle goals. Um, now you might be saying, well, it's all good to have trading goals and lifestyle goals, but how can I actually track them? How can I actually accomplish them? Because everyone has, everyone has goals pretty much, but you know, no one really hits them. So how can you hit them? I've kind of written a step-by-step -step. now. I have blurred out these because these are my actual goals. Open a trailing account, create a new board, add a new card for each of your goals. So as you see on the left-hand side, you've got um, 2021 year of expansion. And I've listed all of my goals as a new card. They're called cards, basically. Um, now, once you click into one of those, write down 15 steps to complete that goal. Um, now I say 15, I'd probably say 12 plus, okay? Um, you see in this example, I do have 15 and be as exact as you can, right? You have 15 steps. So it, let's say your goal is to make a thousand pounds trading a month. Don't just put, okay, I do a prop firm challenge, pass it, and then just make money every single month, right? You, you're not gonna follow that. What are the exact steps that you need to pass that challenge? And then once you've passed that challenge, what are the exact steps that you need to make a thousand pounds a month? Okay. Be as exact as you possibly can with this. Um, the more kind of hand holding you do with this process, the easier it's going to be on you. So the next one is what assets will you trade? Now you can just trade one thing like I do. I only trade GBP USD. But let's say you want to trade gold, you want to trade silver, you want to trade um, maybe a selection of stocks, maybe you want to trade a selection of currencies. List them all down. You are not allowed to trade anything other than what is on that list. Okay. Now, it kind of defeats the object if you're just going to put everything down. Okay. <laughs> you can't just list everything because that's not, you know, you're just defeating the purpose of a trading plan then. Um, so I'd probably say five max, okay? Put five things down, five assets down, and just stick to it. The next one is creating for yourself, if you don't have them already, um, daily morning routines and daily night routines. Now, I do have a video on this. Um, if you want to watch it, you can do. Um, I'll link it up here. Um, but yeah, create a morning routine, create a night routine. I guarantee you there's probably going to be 90% of you that are going to create it, stick with it for a day, a week, maybe. 
there's going to be very very few people that are going to stick with that for a year okay if you do you're going to hit your goals i can almost guarantee it um i'm not guaranteeing it but i can almost guarantee it so create them it's going to help you and now write down step by step your trading plan okay like you did with your goals now do that for your trading plan so this is kind of an overview this isn't what i'm saying you should do we'll get onto that later but when you place a trade your end kind of result is an open trade now how do you get to that this is just an example okay maybe you do some higher time frame analysis you then move on to some lower time time frame analysis you then move on to your trade idea objective so you know your risk award uh, your stop loss all that kind of stuff and before we get into the other ones if you are new here or if you are a subscriber and you're not a member consider becoming a member because um obviously it does take a lot of time to create these videos i do put a lot of effort into them and if you find any value in these videos consider hitting the join button there's no pressure to do it if you don't want to do it it's all good uh, the next one is risk management so write down how much you're going to risk per trade how much you're going to let's say you have five losses in a row are you going to stop trading i don't know that's the question you're going to have to ask yourself okay so write down your risk management rules now what do you think this one is um comment below what you think this one is and you know don't don't cheat obviously um because you've got kind of the main ones there but there's one more that i think is really re probably the most important one okay um before you actually place that trade and it is i'll give you a second to uh to type actually um okay have you done it mental preparation now i know there's probably some people going oh, okay just mental preparation yeah whatever the people that mentally prepare themselves for a trade are going to be a lot a lot more successful than the people that don't okay by mental preparation i mean before you place that trade in your mind you've you are ha not happy but you are prepared for that trade to lose okay you're prepared for that trade to lose um, you have zero expectations of what that trade is going to do. Once you place that trade, it's completely out of your hands. What happens? Okay. Before you actually place that trade, you have a hundred percent control of what happens to your trading account. But once that trade is placed, you don't have any control. And you have a slight bit of control, but you don't really have control because it can move anywhere, right? So mentally prepare now a good way of doing that is to actually create a flow chart now i know that some of you might have seen this in like my group mentoring um but basically what this is is you map out your trades i haven't done a full one here this is just to give you kind of an example um but write down like you did with your goals and like you did with your trading plan an exact step-by-step -step thing flowchart so that you can't mess it up it's literally impossible to mess it up okay so you go to the five minute time frame you mark your zones is the ema trading yes or no if it's not you just circle back and carry on and then once that is trending for example this isn't a strategy this is just an example so if that's a yes you then move on to your next one is price at my zone yes or no there's no other option it's either it is at your zone or it isn't at your zone if it isn't you go back if it is you move on okay and you do that for your full trading plan now something i like to kind of say to traders is pretend that you're trying to code this for an algorithm i know that quite a lot of trading uh, systems can't be um they, they can't be uh, coded but just pretend right that you are trying to code your trading system list everything down step by step like it's a, like it's an algorithm and there shouldn't be any questions there should be no questions um you, sh you should be able to give this flowchart to a random trader and they should be able to trade your plan 
as good as you, okay? Right, the next one is, what are your risk management rules? We spoke about this in the last one a little bit, but I want you to really, really dive into this because if you have actual rules that you follow and put them in that flowchart that I just mentioned, it's going to be so much easier to actually, um, for a start, not blow your account, um, but also succeed. Because if you have good risk management rules, it's almost impossible to blow up. Um, and if you follow them, it's actually not going to be stressful. Trading isn't going to be stressful because you know that your risk management rules are in place and they're almost kind of looking after you a little bit. So the next little part is equity curves. Now, you know, give me a second to kind of explain this. Um, once you've done your back testing, once you've got 100 trades at least back tested, just do a quick Google search for XP Curve Simulator, okay? There's loads of them out there. This is just one that I use. Um, and what this is going to do is you stick the numbers. You can see on the on the left-hand side there, stick the numbers in. This is just a random set of numbers I've put in. And then it can it can do 100 equity curves over 100 trades and plot what is the worst, what is the best, and what is the average of each of those equity curves, okay? Um, so, for example, if you've done 100 trades for your back testing, you stick those numbers in there, and then you hit start simulation, and it gives you a thousand, pretty much, trades um, over that kind of data set that you've you've got. Um, and it will also spit out something like this. So you can see the best is obviously at the top, the worst is at the bottom, and then that black line in the middle is the average. Um, and it gives you, so literally your equity curve, if you traded your strategy, could look anything like this, literally anything like this. Um, and it just gives you that kind of confidence when you've got this kind of data under your belt. And, I, I, you know, I don't know what else to say. Um, it's, it's just, it's such a good tool to use that you kind of need to use it if you're going to, if you're struggling with following your plan, have data at the back of your kind of mind when you're trading because that data is facts, right? There's no opinion whether it's correct or not because it's data. Uh, couldn't get my words out. So what should you stop doing in your trading? Once you've got all your back testing, once you've got your flowchart, once you've got um, your equity curve simulators, you should now have a pretty good idea about your trading plan, what you should, what you shouldn't do. So if you can get rid of the things that are holding your trading plan back, it's going to dramatically increase your um, results. For example, when I did my one minute trading strategy, um, if you haven't seen that, go and see it. It's getting uh, a lot of positive comments from you guys. But um, but yeah, when I was doing that, we basically did some tests about um, whether New York session was actually better than uh, London session. And <laughs> it was a massive difference, massive, massive difference. Just by getting rid of London session and only trading New York session, we managed to increase the win rate by 10%. That's huge. That is massive. You can, you, you can do your own testing, but I'm just saying, what should you be getting rid of? You know, are you whenever you place a second trade, does it just happen to lose? Maybe you should stop placing that second trade. Um, but it's going to take a little bit of self-awareness, a little bit of um, kind of... Um, patience to learn what you're good and not good at but once you've done all of that please 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 follow it right you've done all this work follow it there's no like uh, I'm not gonna get annoyed I'm gonna try and not get annoyed if you've put in all that work just follow it right there's no point putting all that work in giving yourself a solid plan that you know works trading it for a week and then just crying and trading something else and moving on to something else 
and putting in hours and hours and hours and hours of work again to just repeat that process. Once you have your plan and you know it works, follow it. Please just follow it. It doesn't matter how bad it's doing. Just follow it because you know, you know the average results. You know the worst, you know the best. And as long as you're inside of that, you're fine, okay? <clears throat> now remember guys, trading is not meant to be stressful, okay? You can trade without stress. So have an amazing day. And remember that happy traders equal happy trading, okay? If you've liked this video, hit the like button. Hit the comments with, you know, anything you've enjoyed in this video, anything that you've learned in this video, hit it in the comments below. I'll get back to you. Um, if you've enjoyed this video and you didn't subscribe when um, you first turned on this video, but you liked the content that I did in this video, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.